I want to keep track of everyone attending any of my events. I collect attendees through Eventbrite, but want somewhere really easy to scroll through names and email addresses, like Google Sheets. Instead of copying new attendees over or uploading a CSV, I want to do it automatically. With Zapier, I can connect Eventbrite to Google Sheets so that new attendees are added to the spreadsheet as they sign up. If you don't know Zapier, it's an automation tool that makes connecting all your apps happen in a matter of clicks. And Zapier is going to help me save Eventbrite attendees to Google Sheets with a Zap, an automated workflow. All I'll need to do is connect my Eventbrite and Google Sheets accounts. First things first, I'll connect my Eventbrite account. We have links to our privacy and data policies in the description, but basically, we keep your account information secure with bank-level encryption. We don't take chances with your data. My Eventbrite account is connected and tested. Now I have to select the organization. This down caret button means I have to select from a list. If I want a specific event, I can select that here too. Now let's grab a sample attendee to use and we can get to connecting Google Sheets. This gives Zapier permission to create a row in my spreadsheet. We have some more down caret buttons to select a specific spreadsheet and worksheet. Now we can match information from Eventbrite to specific fields in my Google Sheet. When you see this button, that means you can grab information from the first step to populate this field. I'll do that for all my attendees' information so Google Sheets can be as thorough as possible. Now when I click Test, we're actually going to create a row in Google Sheets, so keep that in mind when you test your Zaps too. Zapier is actually making the action happen. It looks like a success, so let's check out Google Sheets. And there it is. Just like that, we connected Eventbrite to Google Sheets. Now, every time I get a new attendee in Eventbrite, this zap will run and send them to Google Sheets. To set this zap up, I used a zap template. They make it faster to create a workflow and come with the apps and actions all ready to go. If you clicked on Make a Zap or your editor looks a little different, don't worry. The principles are all the same. For more information on Zapier, this zap template, and more resources, check out the description. We hope this helps you be more productive.